brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Close for business. Come back after COVID was never an option for us. Chief Justice Philip Carbolito says this past year, the judiciary of Guam did the best they could under the inevitable COVID-19 restrictions and limited resources. We understand that the justice system does not operate in a vacuum. I felt the frustrations of patrons, litigants, and lawyers whose cases were not addressed because they did not fall into one of the categories of matters deemed essential or critical. I'm sure that the pretrial defendants who sat in jail because jury trials were suspended, or for the families who could not settle their estates because probate cases hung in limbo for months, hearing us say, we are doing all we can, did little to lessen their frustrations. In his State of the Judiciary Address, Carbolito detailed how over the span of 411 days, our third branch of government made quick adjustments to ensure justice was preserved. Subsequently, the transition into a virtual world has created more accessibility. As Carbolito provided examples of how they have ushered a whole new era of court access that he says will remain long after the pandemic. Importantly, clients can comply with court conditions and in some cases maintain their employment while still receiving the treatment necessary for their recovery or rehabilitation. Carbolito presented hard data that was provided in the 2020 annual report in which case filings revealed family violence was the top charged criminal offense. And possession of a Schedule II controlled substance moved up significantly on the list of top offenses, with filings increasing by 50 percent. And he adds the court's future will only progress with more transparency and accessibility. But the reality is that some critical court functions cannot be done remotely, such as jury selection. With the limitations of our courthouse to hold multiple jury trials under pandemic protocols, coupled with the staggering backlog of cases resulting from the temporary suspension of jury activity and the speedy trial time periods, we offered pro four proposed amendments to Guam law aimed at striking a balance between the rights of criminal defendants to a speedy and public trial and the cap cap capabilities of our justice system to carry out our mandates in a post-pandemic activity. The proposals include permanently increasing the speedy trial time limits in criminal cases. Carbolito publicly pleading for the legislature and governor to support these proposals and providing more financial support. What would your community look like if courts did not exist. Governor, senators, please remember this question when it is time for you to decide what you think the judiciary deserves in terms of funding. The Chief Justice also announced the creation of an ethics academy for court employees. You can read Chief Justice's State of the Judiciary Address in its entirety on KUAM.com. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero.